recording. <clears throat> I um, first of all, I'm using the Zoom video filter. By the way, cool, right? Uh, I, I I did I, I did a last video. I talked about the, uh, almost getting killed by a bull when I was a kid, <laughs> and I said I got was almost killed a couple of times. And there, everyone's like, "Well, what was the other time?" And um, the the other time was uh, when I first met the bull. Uh, my grandfather used to go to the, st the the auctions on Wednesday nights. Every Wednesday during the day and night, they had cattle auctions and, and livestock au auctions where we grew up. Uh, at those auctions, uh, libations and adult beverages were passed around willingly because they wanted everyone to be bidding on animals. And sometimes money gets loosened up a little bit with uh, the more you consume. So my grandfather, was a, he enjoyed going to the auction. Let's just say it that way. And, and sometimes... So you would go to the auction on Wednesday and Thursday morning, they would deliver whatever you bought on Wednesday. And, and sometimes uh, on Thursday morning, no one would tell me what was being delivered. And, and one time uh, there was this, um, this semi tractor trailer uh, with a cattle uh, trailer on the back and was pulling into the, the farm and I could hear this banging and banging and banging. And, and the, the guy uh, backed up to the cattle chute and comes out of the truck. He's like, I don't know what's in there, but it's been banging since I picked it up uh, at the auction uh, earlier this morning. So we were like, what do you mean you don't know what's in there? <laughs> we're like, he's like, I have no idea, but it's big and it's really, really mean. Um, so I said, okay, <laughs> now I'm like 16 years old. I'm like, okay, uh, let it out and see what happens. So he opens the gate and out comes this bull. Say bull, by the way. He Out comes this bull, runs down the chute, Turns around. I swear there was smoke coming out of his nose and his eyes were red. He looks at me and the driver and we're like freaking out. Thankfully, there's a big gate in front of us. The bull goes under the gate, puts his head under the gate, lifts it, cracks. All the, the, the pylons of the gates that were across, the wooden gates that were across, and then just runs away. <laughs> And the guy and I were like, what do we do now? And he's like, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm getting the heck out of here. He got in his truck and left. And I had to go try to find that bull. That's a whole other story. But that was the first time I almost got killed by the bull. Uh, uh, and, and that's, by the way, just a, a dumb story you don't care about. But what you do care about is one of the things that we, we did today. We did. I'm going to say we. Zoom. And Teresa did today was release a cool blog, right? And this blog, by the way, is all about our chat product and best practices of using chat in your organization. Did you even know Zoom had a chat product? Zoom is known for meetings. Zoom is known for webinars. Zoom is known for phone and Zoom rooms and digital signage. But now Zoom is being known for collaboration and chat within that collaboration story. S Teresa went and then and their and her team went and wrote a beautiful blog gosh she, i could keep moving it over here a uh, beautiful blog on best practices using zoom chat and and i'll post it in the um as the video as well but here's a few of the things that you really really need to, to follow when using chat for your, your collaboration utility Chat is becoming more prominent in our day-to-day -day activities. Email, as email has gone down, chat has gone up. It's just the way we're doing uh, collaboration. That's the way we're working with colleagues. It's the way we're structuring and working as a team, sharing files. So part of that is staying organized. Part of that is sometimes you're, you're part, part of hundreds of different channels and chats, and you need to use the search functions to do that, all built within Teams. Creating boundaries, setting, hey, we could literally be chatting all the time every day, but set time for you to, to be able to, to wind down and, and get stuff done besides getting bothered in chat all day long. Leverage integrations. This is a big part of Zoom apps and that Zoom integration where now we can have Jira notifications built within our chat platform. We really can do presence automation between Zoom and calendaring systems, Google and Microsoft. Really, and then lastly, have fun. A lot of part of this is, hey, let's let's really relieve some of the chemi the stress uh, of, of our day to day meetings. Create team chemistry. Do this with bonding by by having funny emojis and and, and funny video filters. All that's part of that that Zoom chat platform. So all these things, Teresa did a really good job of of highlighting all these things that really are going to help you out in your day to day activities when it comes to Zoom chat.